What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So today we're going to talk about a cool tip that uh, will really speed up your modeling by increasing how fast you can select different objects. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So today we're going to talk specifically about using the selection box. And so basically the way the selection box works is whenever you click and drag, when you've got the select tool um, as your active tool. So like when when I click in here and I click and I hold, I can drag a box across this just like this. And you can see how sometimes it acts differently depending on the way that I drag that box. So in this case, for example, if I click a box, or if I click and drag a box from the left to the right across this face right here, you can see how it's not gonna select anything. And the reason for this is because this is called a window select. So a left to right click and drag is a window select. That means only objects inside the window that you draw completely will be selected. So if you see right here, if I drag this box all the way around these lines, it'll select both of these and none of the others. But if I click and drag across part of the lines using a window selection, it's not gonna select anything. However, if you click and drag to the other direction, so from the right to the left, you can see how this draws a box with like a dotted line in it. So that is what's known as a crossing selection. And basically what a crossing selection means is anything you drag your mouse across with this window will get selected. So you can see how this selected all of these different lines just like this um, because I dragged from right to left instead of from left to right. And so you can use that to do a few different things. So like for example, this works the same way with faces as it does with lines. So if I drag a mouse, if I drag a box across the face across all of these faces, nothing's gonna get selected because you can see nothing that I drew my box around actually fits in that window. If I use a window selection, dragging from left to right. So like if I come in here and I wanna select this box, in order to select, or this face, in order to do that, I'm gonna have to draw a window all the way around this face just like this. And you can see how once I do that, it selects everything in here. But if I come in here and I draw it like this and I don't get the whole face, the only thing it's gonna select is this line because that's the only thing that fit fully in that box. Now, if I come in here and I drag a, drag a box across this this way, then you can see how it's selecting the face and all the lines that were inside my box because I'm using that crossing selection. So, and you can see how it didn't pick up this line on the top here. So you do have to be a little bit careful in the way that you select this stuff. But now if I drag a box all the way across here, it's gonna get all of these different faces. So faces and lines act the same way when you're dealing with selections. So this works the same way for 3D geometry as well. So if I come in here and I drag a box across this, um, I'm not gonna get any of the faces on this side of the box just because I didn't draw a box all the way around it, but there are faces on the back side of this box that I did get. So if I rotate down to this back side, you can see how it did select this box right here because I did draw a mouse or did draw a box all the way around that. And also in the same way, if I click and drag from right to left across this, it's gonna select all of these faces, but not just on the front side, it also gets everything on the back side as well. So anything that that box touches when it's a crossing selection is gonna get selected. So in this case, this is gonna give me probably this back face right here, but it probably won't give me this face because I didn't drag any of the box around it. So that works the same with 3D geometry. In the same way, it also works the same way with groups and components. So if I draw a box part of the way across one of these groups, it's not gonna select anything. If I draw a window all the way around one, but only halfway around the second one, it's only gonna select this one right here. However, if I drag a box using the crossing selection from right to left, I can get all three of them really easily just because that selection box touches all of those different objects. So, and you can do this with more complex shapes as well. So like, for example, this is a shape that I kind of cut up using the slicer extension. And uh, it's basically made up of a whole bunch of different groups just like this. And so the same thing applies. If I come in here and I drag my mouse across these three objects, it doesn't matter if I'm partially across this fourth object, I'm not gonna select it with a window selection because it's not all the way in the window. Um, but if I do a right to left, 
crossing selection like this, it's going to select all of these just because this box touched all of those. So once you start getting that kind of figured out a little bit, um, there's a lot of cool things that you can do with it. Um, I've seen a lot of things with hidden geometry and stuff like that. Like for example, if I was to come in here real quick and just kind of draw a sphere. using the follow me tool just like this and then I was to turn on hidden geometry what I could do is I could come in here and I could select just geometry that I drag my mouse across just like this and you can see how that gets a little tricky when perspectives on um, because what happens is you'll drag your mouse across this and it feels straight but you'll start getting extra geometry on the bottom side down here so you can see how on the back side, even though that looked like I drew a straight box across this, it picked up this lower level of geometry as well. And so one way to kind of work around that is you can turn perspective off so that this is just like a straight, straight on view. That way when you select things like this, you're only getting the geometry that you draw your face across, but you could erase those out. You could do a lot of interesting things with this, but it is something that you really ought to focus on using when you're modeling because it really will speed everything up and make it a lot easier for you to come in and create some cool stuff. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Have you been using this? Did you even know it was here? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Uh, if you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.